This is the lock picking lawyer, and it often seems that the best locks out there, in terms of pick resistance, make few if any claims about it. This lock is the corollary to that observation. I suspect someone at this now defunct New York based lock company were being clever when they named the company PickProof. In other words, I think in this case it is a proper noun and not an adjective. As for what's inside, this is very similar to the multi locks that were made about 30 plus years ago. That means we have five chambers, each with telescoping concentric pins. I've picked locks like this at least a dozen times on this channel, so while it may be pick proof with a capital P, it is not pick proof. So let's see what it takes to pick this open, and then I'll take it apart and show you what's inside. I'm going to use this Z bar as a turning tool, and to lift the pins, I'm going to use this flag from multi pick. Nothing on one, two, three. Four, okay, five is binding. Click from the outer pin. Nothing on the inner, that one feels set. Number four, little click there. Number three, little click there, and some movement on the core. Little click on number two. Number one is definitely binding. Click from the outer pin. The inner pin is binding very hard. Got a click there and we dropped into a very deep false set. That probably means all we have left are inner driver pins. Nothing on one, two, three, four, okay, five. Got a click from the inner driver pin there. Nothing on four. Okay, got one on three. Nothing on two. And we got this open. Okay, folks, while this is certainly above average in terms of pick resistance, it is not a lock that lives up to its name. So let's take this apart and I will show you the pins. Let's get a pinning tray out here. And the first thing we need to do is remove this cap on the back. Now I need a key and the follower, and I should be able to slide the core out. Okay, let's start by removing the key pins. being a little bit stubborn. This lock has probably been well lubricated, probably a little bit too well lubricated. And, oh, here we go. This must have dropped out. Let's arrange those pins and then I will take the driver pins out. You can see both the inner and outer pins in each chamber are all standard, no spooling or serrations in them. Standard inner and outer pins on one. I should say I did not feel any security pins in here, so I'm not expecting to find anything. I will note, however, that all of the outer pins appear to be steel, which means this probably has above average drill resistance. Okay, let me zoom in on that for you. You can see all of the inner and outer pins are standard. And if I grab a magnet, I can check to see if these are steel and indeed they are, probably a lightly magnetic stainless steel. Okay folks, that's all I have for you today on this pick-proof mortise cylinder. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe, and as always, have a nice day. Thank you.